Hey guys, welcome back to the channel of Jimmy is Promo, and today we will be covering two topics surrounding the S Pen for the Galaxy S22 Ultra. So right now, simultaneously, there is two things that I need to do with this S Pen. One of the first ones, as you can see here on the screen, that there is a S Pen software update. Now, if I try to go through and update my S Pen, it says I have to connect it to the phone. And what you can also see right now is that little icon on the top letting me know that my S Pen has been disconnected. So for some reason, this S Pen within 24 hours is now not connected with my phone. So how are you able to first off update the software of the S Pen and also how are you able to reconnect an S Pen to your Galaxy S22? So first off, let's go back and let's just connect the S Pen to the Galaxy S22 Ultra. And I mean, it does stink that it has been disconnected for no reason at all, but I am glad that it happened because I can also show you how you can attach a brand new S Pen to your phone. Either you buy a new one in the future or maybe this one gets lost, you have to replace it, or maybe you just have one sitting at home that you would like to use. So what you wanna do is first off, head over inside of your settings. So you're gonna pull this down and you can see here, it has been disconnected. So you can simply tap on that little notification, but if the notification is not there, just go inside of your settings. You're gonna scroll down over inside of your advanced features. Once you tap on advanced features, this is where you go inside of S Pen. Now this is where you go inside of Air Actions. Inside of Air Actions, again, you can see that we are disconnected. On the top right hand side, this is where you want to either scan for S Pen if you wanna connect the S Pen Pro, or you can go up here, reset S Pen. So all you have to do is now insert the S Pen into your phone. And it doesn't even have to go in all of the way for it to click. So as of right now, all I have you know done here is that I pushed it in, but I didn't click it all the way in. So I'm simply able to pull it right back out with my fingernail. And there you go. You can see we are now connected uh, and the battery life of this one is sitting at 100%. So now it's available. That little icon has gone away. When I tap here, you can see that I'm also connected. So now that we have the S Pen all connected, all you're gonna do is stay in the exact same screen underneath the advanced features inside of S Pen settings. You're gonna scroll all the way down where it says about S Pen. Now this is where you would be able to find if there is a software update for the S Pen. Now I just noticed a second ago that when I tapped on this as I was recording the video, there actually is no software update. So correction there, there is no update as of the recording of this video right now, but this is where if there is a update, this is where you'd be able to find it. It kind of threw me off with this one being clickable and being blue, things like that. I was kind of hoping that if it was not an update, it would be gray to where you're not able to really click it because you can actually see right here the software version sitting there uh, but again it was blue clickable I thought there was one so apologize for that um, but at least you guys were able to see where the update is as well as how to reconnect your S Pen uh, if it was able to you know ever go uh, you know uh, disconnecting you just basically have to go inside of air actions and you go to reset S Pen place the S Pen in and it's all done now if you wanted to use the S Pen Pro this is where you'd be able to get your S Pen Pro connected you can press and hold the connection button on the S Pen for three seconds until the LED starts blinking. So I don't have the S Pen Pro with me right now, so I'm not going to get that one connected. But that is it for today's video. Hopefully you guys appreciated the video. I still didn't even get this thing all the way fully connected. That's actually the very next video that I'll be shooting right now. So stay tuned to the video for tomorrow where I talk about all of the settings to change the moment you get yourself the Galaxy S22 Ultra. And there is 22 settings that I'll be showing off in that video. Video. But if you guys appreciated this, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit subscribe. Subscribe on the very bottom left hand side right over here. And if you like this video, the more than likely you'll also like this video. And I'll see you guys later.